Hello friends, welcome back to uh, Photoshop lessons, uh, Photoshop lesson number two. In this lesson, we would learn about uh, how to create a new project. Now, obviously, all of us are very excited because this is our first project that we would ever create on Photoshop. But again, you know, on this uh, in this lesson, I'm only going to show you how to actually create a project, not really, you know, design a picture or an image. So um, what we need to do to create a project is create a new project is go to file on the top on the menu bar and then click on new. Now, there's a shortcut as well. If you if you want to use your keyboard and not use your mouse, you can press Ctrl and N. So if you see if you use Ctrl plus N, you should be able to open a new project. Um, for people who are using a Mac PC, I think the control is actually replaced by the command. So if you press com command and the letter N, you should be able to see a window like this. Now, um, this window, it looks very small, but there's a lot of uh, features that we can actually select here. Uh, first, of course, is the name. So you can give it any name, maybe, you know, uh, lesson two, for example. Um, then we have something called preset. Now, you must be thinking, what the hell is preset? Um, again, now preset can be custom, which means you decide what you want, or it could be, you know, one of the presets which is available. As you can see, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of features that are available. If you wanted to draw an image, uh, which was an A4 size, then you can select the A4 or an A3 or other sizes. Now these ones here, NTSC, DV, etc. are for video, you know, images that you're creating would be used eventually in videos. Um, these three here normally are sizes that are used in, you know, mobile devices. So 640 by 480, 800 by 600, or 1024 into 768. Not necessarily, but mostly, um, you know, a lot of devi mobile devices now have these uh, screen resolutions. Or otherwise, you can actually select from one of the other options available here. So what we would do is we would uh, just, you know, normally select any of these. Uh, maybe we could go in for 614 to 480. Um, so the moment you select that, you would see that the width, height, etc. would change. Now, like I explained to you, the preset, you can select anyone. Or if you want, you can actually go to custom and put your own sizes. Now, let's assume you wanted to design an image which you would use to print um, and put on your wall. In that case, you can actually write in the width and height exactly as you would want it on the wall. So if I wanted a 200 by um, 200 square picture, I can actually put that here. And instead of pixels, I can then actually select the unit from inches, centimeters, millimeters, etc. All right. Pixels is mostly for, uh, you know, the screen resolution. So if you want something that on the screen should look 200 by 200, then you need to select pixels. If you're going in for something that you would print, you can actually select inches or centimeters. Um, so maybe in this case, because we are wanting it to do it for our wall, we would select, say, centimeters. So this would be, uh, you know, if you convert the, um, the pixels into centimeters, you would need to change it to 200 by 200 again. Yeah because 200 pixels was about seven, seven centimeters. Resolution, now 72 pixels per inch, or they also call it DPI, is basically uh, a standard in the market, but there are some applications, there are some you know, websites or some, uh, some other users where you would need to put more than 72. You, know, you could go up to uh, you know, 100, 200, 300 DPI, pixels per inches or pixels per centimeter. Now DPI actually stands for dots per inch. So, you know, dots per inch or pixels per inch, etc. So you would know exactly, you know, what quality you want. Obviously, the higher the resolution, the higher the image size. So if the image size is, say, 91 MB as of now, if you increase this to, say, 300, you can see the image size has actually become 1.56 GB for that sort of a size. So you need to be careful about that because if you if you are making images for use on a website, you should actually be very careful about the sizes. Otherwise, your website will take a lot of time to load. 
next we have color mode now color mode has a lot of uh, options here um, for example the grayscale yeah as the name suggests is when you want to do a website which is uh, or an image which is a black and white image or grayscale image RGB stands for red green and blue and this is mostly used for you know the, normally people would use RGB as long as the image is going you know you're not going to use the image uh, for printing even for printing some people still use RGB but a more preferred um, color mode is the CMYK um, this is because when you print uh, an image you know it has to be very high quality otherwise the image will actually distort while printing the next option is background contents now if you want the background to be white you could put you could select white or if you want it to be um, a background uh, as a transparent you could have a transparent background for our purposes uh, you know we would just simply select white uh, we wouldn't go for black or transparent as of now you would see there's an option called advanced now when you click that arrow you would also see what kind of color profiles you need and the pixel aspect ratio now this is something that I would tell you later on in details but as of now you know like I said on you know before when we started the lesson if you're designing for um, you know use on videos you could actually select one of these or a color profile which could uh, you know match one of the uh, you know requirements that you know people give you sometimes your clients or people who are who you are designing the image for will tell you that you that they want an image which should be you know standard uh, US or Japan or you know any other country compatible so you can select one of the color profiles from there now you could either click on OK and this would uh, start a new project or you could actually save this preset if you're going to create this image again and again I mean the the um, the project that you create are mostly of the same sizes then you can actually save this preset and put in your name so you click um, preset save preset and put in your name that way you won't have to do all the selections every time all you would need to do is just you know go to preset and select your name and it would load all the sizes now we're going to do the magic which is click on the OK button and there we are we have the new project ready now this is ready for us to start designing but we wouldn't immediately start designing here this lesson was mostly just to show you how to start a new project and what different options mean um, you would also see that the project would have the name on the top so it would have your name so if you're mul if you're using multiple projects and if you're working on different images uh, the way to differentiate them is to look at the top left side and you would see the name of your project in the next lesson I will teach you how to import photographs and probably uh, you know work with the photographs in Photoshop if you like the videos don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson cheers